The regeneration process is to get rid of the calcium and magnesium that the resin has attracted from the, the water itself after so many gallons. It attracts all of it off by basically electricity. There are negatively charged uh, resin beads in here that are just, it's normally that way, they're naturally that way, and there are positively charged calcium and magnesium molecules. Everything dances around here and natural electricity is what draws it off of the other one. So what happens is it gets so to a point that it needs to be cleaned off with the salt brine, which is where the whole involving of salt is in the system itself. It goes ahead and washes the beads off um, with a really high concentration of, of salt water. Um, and that, the, in small concentration, salt water alone won't do it. It has to be in this big soupy salt mix that happens in the brine tank. And it just pulls it off by the same process. There's negative beads and the, the salt itself is positive, only it's stronger than the calcium and magnesium that's, that's on there right now. And it basically cleanses the beads off and then you rinse them completely and then the process starts all over again. Now in regeneration, there's a couple things you need to look for. The machine itself ends up making a couple of different sounds. Um, it, it, it'll make a hissing sound like it's leaking. That's completely normal. What it's doing is it's pushing this water out the, the drain valve here. And it pushes in as much as 30 gallons twice whenever it goes to that regeneration. So it uses quite a bit of water when it rinses this resin back off to make it work. It may go into a pump of some sort uh, down on the floor, uh, which they call condensate pumps or sump pumps. Um, basically what you want to look for is if there's any drips on the system basically anywhere and when it's regenerating you get a chance if you're hearing it just to go ahead and have a look real quick to see if there's anything that can cause damage later on to your home.